Hey, Olivia here with Running Shoes Guru, and I'm talking today about the Under Armour Charged Assert 9. The Under Armour Charged Assert 9s are a training shoe that was built for uh, the neutral foot strikers who need some flexibility and cushioning in their uh, footwear. So Under Armour does have another version of this shoe. It's the Charge Assert 8, and I did test those out as well. Um, the updated version, so the 9s, don't really see much different than the 8s other than uh, the updated upper. And it's really not a huge difference. You can just see some of the overlays are a little bit different in the Charge Assert 9s. They offer uh, a lightweight mesh upper, durable leather overlays over the toe box, uh, the midsole, and the heel, an EVA sock liner for some added extra cushioning, and a solid rubber outsole. Oh, and as well, what uh, Under Armour is really known for is the charged midsole cushioning. They will cost you roughly $70, and I think for that price that it's a fair deal. Uh, they weigh in around nine ounces, which is a little bit heavier than the previous model, and they have an offset of 10 millimeters. My first impressions of the Under Armour Charged Certain Nines wasn't anything too crazy. Uh, I mean, I tried the Under Armour Charge Assert 8, so I kind of knew what to expect. I opened the box up and pulled them out, and I was like, whoa, these are really, really white. Uh, if it were up to me, I would maybe add some color to them, but it didn't hinder the comfort that they gave me throughout my training sessions. So when I first put this shoe on, I did notice how stable my foot felt in each shoe. I really look for that when I am looking for a training shoe or just a lifting shoe or a shoe that I'm just gonna stand around in all day whether I'm training clients or coaching or chasing my kids around at the playground. This shoe pleasantly surprised me and uh, exceeded my expectations. My first workout in these shoes was on a grassy hill. I was doing a hill workout in them. I didn't really have any major complaints right away. I had a few minor ones, um, and they would be that I did have some slight slipping in my heel, and also some rubbing around uh, my ankle from the collar of the shoe. I've worn them many times since that first workout, and I don't really notice it really bothered me that much. I just switched my sock thickness up a little bit, and that helped with my heel slipping, and also wearing the higher, thicker sock that helped with um, the collar rubbing on my ankle. I could feel the plushness all over my feet when I first put my uh, feet into the shoes. I could feel the, the nice padded EVA sock liner in here, uh, as well as the charged cushioning throughout the midsole, and also inside of the light, weight mesh upper, it's slightly padded and I could feel that all over my foot. The upper of the shoe. So looking at this version and looking at the charged Assert 8, uh, they are almost a splitting image of one another. If you would just glance at each shoe, you would be able to tell uh, what version is what. Uh, it still has the same lightweight mesh upper, but just the overlays are slightly different. Uh, the lightweight mesh material of the shoe isn't as soft as uh, a lot of the lightweight meshes that I'm used to in uh, a lot of the shoes that I've been wearing, but it does keep my foot ventilated and very cool. So this upper is very breathable. The mesh covers from the toe box area to the midfoot, and inside it has a thin, plush liner that adds to the all over cushiness that this shoe will give you. So the rest of the upper is made of the durable leather overlays and 
feeling them. They don't really feel like leather. They feel more like, like a suede material, but uh, that is what Under Armour calls it. Uh, and they are placed across the toe box and around the midfoot and the heel. And these are here to, here to secure your midfoot in the shoe. I had plenty of room in the toe box area for my toes to splay out when I was jumping or planning or cross training. The Under Armour Charge A Certain Nines fit true to size and they also come in a wide version with this updated model. So the lacing system allows for all different types of variations and I probably could have switched it up but I didn't, I just kept it as they came. Uh, I probably could have switched it up to secure my heel in a little bit better but I didn't and I, I, I didn't really have many issues. They are, the laces are round. So the tongue of the shoe is one area that is different from the Charge Dessert 8. It's still a nice thickness and it does uh, give the top of your foot some uh, nice extra padding, but I would say that this material is definitely of a lesser quality and I would prefer the Charge Dessert 8's tongue over uh, the Charge Dessert 9's if I had to pick. Let's talk about the sole of the shoe. So the sole of the shoe is identical to the previous model, which is the Assert 8. The sole of the shoe is made of solid rubber and the rubber does not cover the entire sole of the shoe. So the rubber is intentionally placed on high impact areas. So this gives your shoe flexibility and traction without adding any extra weight to it. Uh, there's deep and shallow flex grooves that are found between the midfoot and the forefoot, which make the platform very flexible. It has charged cushioning throughout the midsole. This cushioning gives you high end shock absorption and energy return technology. It ensures less impact with each foot strike and greatly enhances bounce back. So you can expect less stress in your joints and in your feet as a result of this technology. I've tested these shoes out on various surfaces. Uh, these surfaces include uh, the pavement, sidewalk, uh, a track, the grass, rubber gym flooring, pretty much anywhere you can think of. Uh, I did uh, test these out on, or I tested the uh, Assert 8s out on, and I had no issues with slipping in them, other than when I did a hill workout on the grass, and it was wet, and I had slight slipping, but it was nothing crazy. So, my conclusion of the Under Armour Charged Assert 9s would be an all-over positive one. I like this shoe. I would recommend it to family or friends who are looking for a shoe that is budget friendly. It won't cause a dent in your wallet and that can serve many purposes for them. So Under Armour does claim that this shoe was built for running uh, and you definitely can. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I, know, I know I stated it uh, many times before that I don't think this is a running shoe. I would not do anything over a 5k. I've run in this shoe many, many times, short, quick sprints, uh, change in direction, um, drills, and uh, some shorter runs, but nothing over a 5K, and I had no issues with them whatsoever. I think the Under Armour Charge A Certain Nines are a fantastic choice if you are looking for a shoe that will wear many, many hats for you. This shoe can be a cross training shoe, you can run in it, and you can wear it just out and about with friends. If you liked my review, please click like and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru. And if you want to read my full review about the Under Armour Charge A Certain Nines, please check it out on runningshoesguru.com.